So hopefully you can see the uh, details of the firmware now on the screen. So this is a build from uh, June the 19th this year. Open MD9600. I'll just escape from that. We've got language options here as well. Turkish, uh, Spanish, Slovenian, Portuguese, Polish, Dutch, Italian, various uh, French of course here. Yeah. Various language options that we can uh, use. Um, we can see uh, last heard. Radio info, so we've got a, a volt a meter, a time which is uh, rather incorrect because it's actually um, 2020 UTC at the moment. I have to work out how to alter that, and the date which is a little bit ahead of itself 2036. Location, I don't know whether that's um, a function of GPS. Don't know whether there's GPS on this particular model I have here, I suspect not, but we'll have to find out. Um, temperature, uh, I don't really know what that's an indication of. It's certainly not 35.9 centigrade. It actually was a couple of days ago that warm here in the UK, but at the moment it's 24.5 in the shack. So, whether that can be calibrated in some way, I don't know. Whether that reflects the temperature of the set, again, I doubt it because this set has just been on receive. It's, it's very cool. But that's there. Um, I think that's a battery usage graph of some sort. So that's those functions. Satellite, I don't know. Not sure what that does. Zone, we know. Contact channel details. Have a look at what we can alter in the channel details. We can. Uh, we've got the name, the TX and RX frequencies, the mode, color codes, time slots receive groups and so on step time up timer various settings there the channel details let's go back into the options sound options we looked at briefly before but um, we can have a time up beep the volume of the beep whether we want uh, various tones a mic setting for uh, DMR, a uh, mic gain setting for FM, various Vox settings, AGC, general options we've got. Uh, there's a hotspot function, interestingly enough, on this, which there was on the um, the handsets. Now uh, I haven't read of anyone using this as a high power hotspot, but uh, it's possible. Perhaps it could be done. Um, I don't know whether that will let us. Yeah, it'll let us switch the hotspot functions on. And here's a temperature calibration. I, I would say that this. Um, Temperature is uh, something like 10, it's plus 10 degrees out. Um, so we probably need it. Uh, I don't know if this will work. Let's try that. Uh, let's enter that. Um, maybe now if we go back into temperature, let's go back into the menu setting. And I think it was under, uh, where was it, radio info, yeah, just 26.25.9, still about a degree out, I probably should have knocked that down by 11, but I guess, I guess that's how we could calibrate the, uh, the temperature, again how accurate that would be I uh, really don't know. So, as you can see, I think the flexibility of this menu is a lot better than the um, original MD9600 from what little I saw of it. When I first powered it up, the screen is, is a lot clearer. 
the ability to uh, uh, scroll through talk groups is is brilliant the ability to enter talk groups just from the microphone keypad is brilliant um, so those functions alone I think are worth the um, are worth the upgrade and it was uh, it was fairly painless as it turned out so what I'll do next is put a power meter back on this radio see if we can get some idea of whether these power settings are anywhere close I'll be quite happy with a minimum of 100 milliwatts power that will be fine for running into my hotspot and I will just set about using the radio and uh, see how it goes on DMR okay we met once before okay we keep the HLAN California uh, nice to meet you um, uh, I'll go to the Zurich call I'm in the assisted living center and um, uh, I just woke up and, uh, you see we have quite a weak signal here it's coming from my hotspot upstairs in the house there's no antenna whatsoever in the back of the 9600 not even a dummy load so that's uh, that's why you can see that signal is a little bit low so you've got a bar graph S meter as part of the uh, open firmware which runs from here up to here um, we might actually get a more accurate uh, S meter if we go into the menu uh, are you still listening? It's Lancaster, California. And there you go. We've got um, somewhat more detailed uh, S meter. Uh, we've got the uh, DBM. Who calling it? I think it's India Kilo Six in Moscow. Kilo is working rather well, considering it's an S two signal, no antenna. Yeah, this is Keith and. One two test, one two test, one two test, hello test. <laughs>